Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Tony from Sax Studios and today I'm going to cover a topic uh, on a tool that many people don't even really know about. It's fairly new to the CS series and it's called Content Aware Feel. Um, it's really a great tool if you uh, want to pull you know, somebody out of something, say I wanted to remove this guy here from the scenery, well I can do that but that's going to leave a big gaping hole and I'm going to have to do a lot of cloning to make it look right. Well that's the beauty of content aware feel because it does a lot of the hard work for you. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to use it and the results you get from it which are great. So a friend of mine standing in front of a quarry or a, a rock formation here with a great scenic view but maybe I don't want him in it, I just want the view. Uh, maybe I'm going to use it as a desktop wallpaper, who knows. So how am I going to get him out of there without having to clone for an hour afterwards? Well, I'm going to show you. We're going to go ahead and come up here and grab our quick selection tool as we've used before in previous videos for extracting people. And I'm going to use a brush size of about 45. You know, pick and choose what you like, but you don't want it to be too big. And we're just going to roughly select our person here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We just need to get a roundabout selection that encompasses him. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. So now we've got him selected. And unlike before, when we were extracting someone, we used the Refine Edge tool. This time, we're going to change it up a little bit. So next, we're going to go ahead up under Select, choose Modify, and go to Expand. Now you may have to play with this, um, you know, depending on the size of the area you want to pull out. But basically, what we want to do is expand this selection around our target that we're going to pull out because to use content aware fill perfectly it has to read the area around the person so it can try to match it so for this I'm going to go with about 10 pixels and you see when I do that it creates a little aura all the way around him of the scenic area now that I've done that we're going to go up here under edit you got to fill or you can hit shift F5 that's going to bring up the fill box. Now, yours might say foreground color, background color, black, white, gray, but we want to make sure it says content aware. Normal, 100% opacity. Let's go ahead and click OK and you're going to see the magic happen. It'll think just a second and boom, our guy is gone. So let's hit Control D. We're going to deselect that. And look at that, that looks amazing compared to what it was before. Now, maybe you want to take out this because, you know, even though it looks pretty natural, it's a, it, you know, it might not be what you want. And we still see a little shadow of the fella here that we had before. So, I recommend using the healing brush. So, we're going to use a spot healing brush, okay? And we want to have it set to content aware and let's change the mode to replace now we're going to make our brush just slightly bigger than what we want our area to be so that looks pretty good so now we're just going to take and we're just going to drag over this area like this and it looks pretty good but it left a little spot let's fix that okay that's taking care of our shadow now we want to get rid of this let's go ahead and you can use bracket left and right black bracket to uh, make your brush bigger or smaller so let's go ahead and cover this area and click and look at that that is magnificent now you can never tell that there was actually someone standing there. So now you have a nice scenic view that you can use as your wallpaper or you know now that that person's gone maybe you want to superimpose other people into it that you've cut out. Um, anything goes. You can put animals in there and just go crazy with it because it's all about having fun. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Remember Content Aware. It is a great tool and I recommend you use it 
anytime you need to pull somebody out of an area that you want to keep the background but remove the person from. So thanks for joining me for this quick tutorial. This is Tony from Sack Studios. Please check out some of our other videos. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for joining us and take care.